Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, self-care, astrology, mental health. I do vlogs and basically whatever else I feel like talking about. So welcome if you're new. Today, yes, I'm wearing a hat. Look at our little false. I got some new pillows from Home Goods. Whatever, I like this hat. If you like it, it's from Anthropology. Um, today, we're gonna be smelling 25 samples from Swiss Arabian. Someone requested that I review Swiss Arabian fragrances. I didn't know where to start. I said, I haven't smelled any of them. I don't have any, I'm gonna pull the trigger on. They said, you can do samples from their website. So lo and behold, I got the women's slash unisex box of 25 samples. And we're just gonna smell them. And then maybe the ones that I really am into, I'll review separately later, but this is gonna be kind of a first impressions. And I love to do these videos. So, and I believe this sample kit was $39.95 and um, it came super quickly in the mail, so that is great. First one we have is called Garam. Garam. Ruby, Garam, right? Gabi, stop. Yo. Ooh. Honestly, that's amazing. It's very much sort of like Instant Crush, Mancera, that level. It's intense, it's loud but it's also giving me Ariana Grande cloud. It's giving me an intense Ariana Grande cloud. Wow, yes, when I run out of cloud, I'm getting this. Cause this is as strong as I wish cloud were. So that's maybe like some lavender in there. Uh, it's marshmallowy and fluffy. It's definitely sweet, but it packs a punch too. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, love that one. That was a garam. This one is Noof. Okay, this one, this one is soapy, soapy, super clean. This reminds me of a Lush product. Um, at first sniffs, it reminds me of the Lush face, Lush face wash that's like the marine one with the seaweed. So it's a little bit marine to me, but now already immediately it's getting sweet. But this one is a lot fresher. Um, that's also super lovely. This would be like a, a springtime summer springtime fragrance these are like so far both of those are really packing a punch they're from what i know very kind of the strength of typical arab fragrances but i love that yeah it's really fresh and green and then it has sweetness on the bottom yeah that's really lovely i like that noof okay now we have casablanca cool what is this one gonna be I love, I know nothing of any Swiss Arabian perfume. I know there's one that's supposed to be a dupe for Oud Bouquet. I can't remember the name, so we'll see if I recognize it. Mmm, okay. I feel like I smell orange. It kind of smells like an orange, orange dreamsicle. Fresh, zesty, but like creamy. To me, I don't know the notes, but this is orange dreamsicle, elegant orange dreamsicle. And shampoo, shampoo clean, because it's like citrusy, you know? I like that one. Nice. That's really, really lovely, and yeah, that would be a good date fragrance, daytime date, because it's elegant, it, smel it smells expensive, it's not a super sexy scent, but you smell clean and you smell unique. Okay, now we have W-A-J-D. Is that Wajd? Wajd? I feel like you pronounce the J in Arabic. Well, probably depends on the context of the J, but W-A-J-D. Oh, Rose, Rose. Mm-hmm, rose, rose, rose. At least from what I'm smelling. This is the most um, uh, mature smelling of these. It has that very mature uh, fragrance smell, older fragrance. It smells a little bit grapey. What else am I getting here? Maybe a little bit of resin of, of sweet, sweet wood. Yeah, but it's just, it's very mature. This is something I suppose I would wear to a formal winter event. This is one of those velvety, it smells like velvet. It smells like you're smelling into velvet. So it's a darker, it's not a sparkly bright fragrance, but it's nice. It's not, uh, I don't think people would say it's a grandma smell per se, cause I do know people use that term, but it's definitely the most mature of all of those. Then we have Hayam. I need to look up what all these mean, Hayam. H-A-Y-A-A-M. 
Okay, this is the most unisex. This is maybe cedar or something. This is definitely wood, resiny. Yeah, woody. But not, um, not in a super manly man way. It's not even like my Tom Ford Oud Wood or a tobacco wood. What is it? I have one of the Tom Ford Wood fragrances. And that kind of just smells like I'm a woman wearing men's cologne. This smells like if you ever wanted a mature, elegant, expensive smelling version of Abercrombie Fierce that's a little bit more unisex and not so like jock, oops, um, this would be it. Even though I do like Abercrombie Fit, uh, I like Abercrombie Fierce, whatever, judge me. Yeah, that's really woody, but sweet and it's not too dark and it's not too dry. Sometimes wood fragrances, I'm like, I can't even breathe. Like it's just so resiny and almost you can like, feel like you're inhaling resin or the dust, you know? No, that's good. That's, I would actually wear that. That's a woody fragrance that I would totally try out wearing. Definitely in a cold climate. All right, next pack. We have Wild Spirit. Whoa. Okay, I'm anticipating this being sort of hippie. I don't know. Wild Spirit, what makes this wild? Let's see. Hmm. This might be rose or tuberose. It's giving me white flowers. This is super kind of traditionally feminine. I think uh, women that like typically um, commercial, like designer floral fragrances would like this. It reminds me a little bit of the Gucci Bloom fragrances, just like really white floral, really feminine. But I feel like there is rose in there. Yeah, that's just a explosive, high, like in bloom kind of floral. It's nice. It, it, it is leaning towards the type of floral that might give me a headache, but we'll just have to see. But this also is a, would be like a great fresh out of the shower if you want something that packs, as I keep saying, packs a little bit more of a punch. I know it's hot, Mocher. I know, Bobosh. Yeah, this is fresh. To me, I immediately saw myself putting this on right after the shower, so that's really nice. Wild Spirit. We have Inara. Inara, why have I heard of this one? Is this the Oud Bouquet? Inara. Wow. What is in that? What is that? It's a note that I love. It's like rose, but it's not. Is that? It's not frangipani, I don't think. I need to know. I'm sorry, I have to look this up. There's some kind of lovely flower in here that I can't put my finger on right now, but it's a white flower for sure. Okay, opens with citrus fruits. Yeah, it's very sparkly and bright, but rich, creamy roses, yes. Juicy peaches and black currants, and then sandalwood and cedar, okay. I guess I'm just smelling the rose with the peaches and the citrus, it's a little brighter rose, it's a young rose. Okay, but I have to stop smelling that because I might be getting a headache. But it's good, that's another one that's very safe for my traditional loving perfumes. Royal Mystery. I love anything regal, being a Leo. I love anything that refers to being a queen, being royal. Ah, that's nice. To me, it smells grapey, it's fruity, it's probably a dark fruit, maybe like plum or, I don't know, this is juicy fruit, uh, almost like a, um, if there was a perfume that was supposed to be inspired by wine, so it doesn't smell exactly like wine, but. And then it kind of is giving me a lush bath bomb fragrance, like sort of smell. That's clean as well though. All of these florals are like fresh out of the shower. Love it. Okay, this is Inara Oud. Okay, maybe I'll be able to wear this because it'll ground it a little more with the Oud and I won't get a headache. It's too bad, fragrances I like give me a headache. Okay, all right. Right off the bat, I'm like a little thrown off about the, the oud is like, it's kind of cutting and it is giving me the same reaction that I have to vetiver, even though I love vetiver, it's kind of like, woof. It like, okay, now it's making a little more sense. So this is a really, this is not a smoky masculine oud. I still get the roses. It's just a little bit of a smoky rose. 
Is this the one people say is like Oud Bouquet? I mean, I can see it being sim uh, similar, but I would never mistake this for Oud Bouquet. Yeah, this is less rich. I mean, Oud Bouquet has three different types of wood. I don't know the kind of, kinds of wood that, that are in here, but no, Oud Bouquet is a little bit more earthy, woody. But this is good. This would be along those lines. Shagaf for women. Oh! This, ooh, jasmine. Ah, this is fresh out of the shower. I have a jasmine and plumeria body wash that I've been using recently and oil and all that stuff. And this is pretty similar. Wow, I'm thankful I have this. Yeah, this is a soapy, sudsy, from what I'm getting, I could be totally wrong, a soapy, sudsy, clean jasmine. Oh, I can already hardly smell it on, like I can hardly distinguish it from the air. It's not like I'm smelling this in, no, this is a skin, oh, this is going to be a beautiful skin scent. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear this. I'm really excited about this one, shug off. Wow, that's dope. That's exactly what I've been kind of looking for. Not that that's exactly Frangipani, but it's like giving me the vibe. Okay, this is Al Amakin. Al Amakin. Oh. This is lavender. This is lavender cream puff. I had a body wash or body lotion that was lavender cream puff and it smelled just like this. Yeah, so if you like uh, lavender desserts, whipped lavender, marshmallow, that type of thing. Oh, and this also smells like, oh, there's a Amouage fragrance, that maybe Lilac Love Woman. So maybe this is Lilac. Is that what I'm smelling? Some kind of purple flower, I swear to God. I swear, let me check it out. Got to really work on training my nose instead of just making things up. Oh, okay. Tart sweet, a uh, black currant, passion fruit, and bergamot. Jasmine and lush peony. Vanilla and cedar. I don't know what's giving me that lavender. I don't know. But it's to me, this smells like a lavender cream puff. So, there's that. Not taking it back. Um, Edge, Miss Edge. Okay, come on Edge. Okay, that's soapy, that's really like uh, bright and clean and zesty, but also powdery. <laughs> um, this one maybe is, is this like gardenia or? This is a ton of white flower, I'm getting a ton of white flower, but clean, but less of a skin scent than, less skin scent than the other one that we just smelled. That was like a white flower. And this is quite young. Right, we, oh uh, yes, Lily of the Valley, White Lilies, Pink Peony, Heady Gardenia. I said gardenia! Oh, guys, I'm growing. Moss, musk, woody vetiver, powdery notes, y'all. I'm getting good. Yeah, this is definitely like, it reminds me of Lily of the Valley soap, and definitely gardenia, and powdery. But this is, this would be good for a sweet young woman. I can see wearing this, a young bride. This is a, as we, this is a virginal fragrance. This fragrance is not someone who, yeah, this is a virginal fragrance, that's all I'm gonna say. I would still wear it, but it's very virginal. Now we have Edge Intense for women. Maybe these are the most more um, targeted towards young people because these are like Miss Edge and whatever. All right, more shampoo right up front. I feel like this might have green apple. Yeah, let's check it out. Guys, I'm gonna be psyched if I'm right. Oh, and a lot of these are available on Amazon. Great, and they're not even expensive. Yes! Oh, sometimes I'm really good at telling notes. Yes, green apple right at the top. Amazing. So yeah, this is a lovely, sophisticated green apple. It's nice, it's shampoo-y. I'm not crazy about green apple, but I would definitely wear that in the spring, for sure. For sure, that's like a brunch smell. Now we have Hamsa. Oh, that's grapey as hell. I need to know what that note is. When I smell the grapey smell, it's gra elegant grape soda right now. This smells like in a cartoon, if a, if a fierce, like a dope villainess, like uh, the villain in um, uh, Enchanted, Susan Sarandon, if she had like a perfume with dark purple liquid, this is what it smells like. 
it's not dark it just smells like sort of a cartoony I, I don't know how to explain it I don't know why I'm seeing it as cartoony it's just it's just bright and sort of cheeky so it's like a cartoon version of a villain it's not a real villain that you're scared of it's like kind of a cheeky villain sweet sexy grapey that's what I'm getting right now yeah I like that that's it's it's a lot I don't think I would wear that like on a first date or anything because it is like that's this is perfume but it's cool then we have edge for women didn't I haven't I already tried edge miss edge oh okay I guess I haven't tried edge this is just edge for women hmm yeah this is young woman 20s early 30s at the most this is not like super virginal, but it's another one of those sort of more innocent fragrances. There might be green apple in this. I'm getting some citrus bright notes. It reminds me of something. Oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like um, Cartier Baiser Volé, where it's kind of like a greeny floral, but perfumey, not a skin scent. If you like clean, uh, clean florals, bright and cheery and happy and Feminine, not girly girl, but feminine. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I'm curious to see how it works on me. But I'm obviously partial to the kind of intense fragrances. I think, you know, I think that's kind of probably what they're really good at. This one is Ser Al Sheila. Oh, this one I can, ow. I can tell this one is, wow, this one smells exotic. This one smells like you, this is, I mean, they're all kind of imported from the, UAE but this one smells like you've got back from travels and you have a perfume that no one else has wow this is spicy but fresh not dark not masculine but it's like fresh but spicy shopping in the daytime at a bazaar this is what I would wear or I, I feel like I would find this in a little cart at a bazaar and they would sell I don't know I have I haven't been to the Middle East so forgive me but yeah, this is just giving me bizarre spice market, sunny, in a in a light dress and a hat vibes. That's nice. Sarah Al Shayla. I like that. Valencia. Oh, I have sugar cookies that just came out of the oven, so I'm gonna grab one. I'll be right back. Mm-mm. Pillsbury confetti cookies. Mm-mm. Do you ever have those moments where you're like enjoying your time and you're kind of spacing out and then you remember something embarrassing you did a long time ago and you get upset about it? Stop thinking about it, stop. It's fine. Oh my God, Gabby. Gabby, oh my God. I'm embarrassed by my, I'm embarrassed by my past self. Okay. I have thoughts on this. Okay, my water tastes like perfume because I was spraying the perfume above the water. That's very odd. So this reminds me of a Mancera fragrance. This could be a Mancera fragrance. It reminds me a little bit of my Lavender Oud. And it reminds me of a little bit of Oud Bouquet. It reminds me more of Oud Bouquet than the other thing I smelled. I adore this one. This is one that I would have a bottle of. This is a nice standard to me. Not standard, but you know, this is a nice feminine Oud that I could reach for and always be satisfied with how I smell. But this is really bold. I wouldn't wear this like on a plane or where I'm going to be close to people. When am I going to do that? I don't know, but like a wedding i'm thinking of gl full glam arab wedding when am i going to an arab wedding i don't know someone invite me i'm so mad because unless i marry a lebanese person i don't think it's acceptable for me to have the lebanese entrance to the wedding with the those guys and, and the bride is like and the, and the groom is like and like you look so beautiful and everyone is like and i just want to be doing this coming in for my wedding but I'm not Lebanese, so I think nobody would get it. Maybe it's sort of instant crushy as well. It's just a Mancera, like, mm, kind of fragrance. All right, we've got a couple more. Crystal Rose. wonder what this will smell like. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, that's a gorgeous rose. Okay, this smells like, um, this smells like Mancera Rose Vanille, which I already own, which is makes sense why I love this so much. Yeah, that's amazing. That's just sweet. Sweet Rose, come on. Hello, my little boobos. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I love that, that's great. So that would be a really inexpensive dupe for Rose Vanille. 
Then we have Rashika. That's dope. Rashika. Oh, this smells like clean laundry. This is the most clean of it. This is like truly, if you love laundry scents, I can imagine. Oh, but now I smell rose. That's very clean laundry. If you're into Dolce & Gabbana light blue or I don't know, this literally smells like really, really clean laundry to me. There's not much more I can say about it right now. So very laundry. Okay, now we have Whisper. I'm loving the tones too with the pillows and my hat. Come on. Ooh, this is like, um, this is gonna be loved by your commercial fragrance loving people, your designer fragrance, but I really can't wait to wear this. This is sort of green apple-y to me and clean. And I guess it's not like anything that mind blowing or different, but this is a green apple that I would be psyched to wear. It's delicate, it's not super sexy, good for a daytime meetup, could, could be appropriate for an interview. Yeah, even work fragrance, it depends on the projection I'll have to see, but yeah. It's just a nice appropriate adult green apple. Very cheery, yeah. Oud Maknoon. That is like soapy oud to me on first sniff. Almost like, um, reminds me of aftershave or shaving cream. Reminds me a little bit of Old Spice. <laughs> I don't think I would wear this. It's very yummy. I would put this on an older man, an older, very classy man. It's like kind of like smoky or tobacco-y. Yeah, it reminds me of like aftershave, that sort of thing. So I don't think I would wear that, but that is very good and it smells very expensive. It smells, it's like a manly man right out of the shower fragrance. We have Shagaf Oud. Didn't I already try Shagaf Oud? Oh yeah, this might be the one, maybe why I'm recognizing it, maybe this is the one that people said was a dead ringer for Oud Bouquet. And I guess. Yeah, it's the same vein. I think I could tell the difference, but if you want Oud Bouquet, this is probably way more affordable. And this is delicious, delectable. Yeah, it's even more, the woody resin is even more fresh and bright than an Oud Bouquet. But that's really good and it's really, really similar. Yeah, I'll have to do a comparison maybe if you guys would be interested. We have Khatir. Smells like lemon, lime, or a citronella candle. Yeah, this is not for me. This is like citrus shaving cream. This is kind of lime cleaning product. It's not for me. I, I have to stop smelling it. Yeah, that's not for me. I understand why, like, it's not a bad fragrance at all and it doesn't smell cheap or anything, but that lime is gonna give me a bad headache if that's what that is. Den Al Oud Malaki. That's dangerously close to a naughty word in Greek. Mmm. This is very resiny wood. Fresh. And also, is it vetiver? Is this, there's something green. What am I smelling? What am I smelling? Focus. I think it's vetiver. This smells like a freshly rained forest in Northern California. It smells like Redwood, California. Redwoods. Yeah, this is like green, like vegetation that has just been rained on. And maybe wood, I guess. Maybe I'm, I'm mostly smelling the vegetation and maybe I'm just like, my mind is adding in that I smell wood, but that's good. Again, I don't know if I would wear this, but it's a, it, like I would put this in my room when I really need, honestly, this is giving me, it's setting a beautiful vibe right now. So I would still like spray this in my room or something like that. I like that, just not to wear on my body. This is Shagaf Oud Aswad. Yeah, this is much brighter than just the Shagaf Oud. And I, what do I smell? I, I'm getting the same citronella-esque smell. So I'm, I think there's citrus in there. That's odd. Maybe I'm just not used to Oud and citrus. Let me see the notes. Uh, Shagaf Oud Aswad. Ah, it's, okay. Vanilla musk, leather, amber, and sandalwood. Yeah. It's good. It smells mature. I can imagine a very wealthy older woman wearing this. It's a little much for me. I prefer a little more sweetness with the original Shagaf Oud. But what is, it, what is it reminding me of, dude? It reminds me of something I used to wear when I moved right to LA, like the first year. Okay, you guys, I tried not to take forever and ever and ever, 
but that was 25 Swiss Arabian fragrances. I would say I'm still shook by Garam, the new one, the one of the first that I smelled. I really like, these are from what I can remember, okay? I really like Whisper, uh, Shagaf Oud, definitely. Um, the Crystal Rose, is that, yeah, that's really lovely and unique. I think Valencia was pretty cool. Yeah, but oh yeah, I like Valencia. That's like very instant crush, Mansara. Hamza, yeah, that this is like a nice. This is really jasmine or really, oh like real jasmine. Oh man, that's nice. Okay, so those are my special mentions, but that is gonna wrap up my Swiss Arabian first impressions video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want full reviews of any of these fragrances and I will talk to you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.